What up? What's good? It's your girl Locatone, and today I am back with another DIY for you. And guess what we're doing today? This super cute, aesthetically pleasing flask. It's gorgeous. I love it. Hologram, glitter, pearls, rhinestones, everything that you could possibly want on it. Also threw in some Lisa Frank and Lizzie McGuire for nostalgic reasons. And yeah, so let's get it right into it. But first, please subscribe to my channel for more weird, cute as fuck DIYs. I have some cute ones coming up. I'm getting like a whole ratchet collection together. So we have the flask, the weed grinder, the ashtray. What else did I do? Um, stash jar. And next week, lighters coming up. So I have my whole little collection of like the bad girl shit that you need in your life. That's really cute. And also do it to like your personality, like match your personality. You know what I mean? So yeah, subscribe, ring the bell, follow me on Instagram at alocotone, and let's get right into it. Check it out up close. It kind of looks like a five-year-old made it for their underage auntie who likes to get drunk all the time. <laughs> Psych no. Found this flask at a liquor store. I cut and print out a ton of cute aesthetic looking pictures so I can decorate my whole flask with them. I have a few left over so I'm going to use them for upcoming projects very soon. Super glue. Polymer clay cabochons that I made. Clear tape to laminate all the pictures. Found some holographic sticker paper at Michael's Craft Store. Scissors. I went into my craft box and pulled out literally every single thing that sparkled, was cute, was pink. I had all of this just laying around waiting to get used and now is finally the time. Alright, first things first, cut out all the cute photos that you want to go on your flask. Now I'm putting my flask right up against the sticker paper, kind of measuring out where exactly I need to cut, making sure that it will fit all the way and wrap nicely around the flask. I'm just soaking in all the majestic, beautiful, magical hologram that I'm ingesting into my eyes. It's so pretty, I picked the cutest one. It was only $1.99 too. Cool, now just wrap that bad boy up. Try not to get any wrinkles so it doesn't look like shit. But if it does, it's not too big of a problem because you could just put one of the pictures you printed out over it or some rhinestones and make it look good. Next up, let's laminate this bitch, Lizzie McGuire. It's pretty easy. Just cut her out, put two pieces down, and just try to get it fully covered so that if any liquid does so happen to spill, it doesn't mess up and make all your cute Lisa Frank pictures bleed. Just stick it on and smooth it out. Now it's time to get creative and decorate everything. The centerpiece of my flask is this super cute Lisa Frank photo. I am creating a border around the edges so it kind of looks like a picture frame using some super glue, pink, blue, and yellow small flat back pearls that I found on eBay. I got them a few years ago, but I have so many. I have every single color, so it's always good to just whip them out. Also, some rhinestones from Joanne Fabrics that are on the top. What I use to pick up and transfer my pearls and rhinestones is a tiny piece of conditioned polymer clay. The oils in the clay help to pick up the pearls effortlessly, and also, I can easily place them exactly where I want to put them. So it's great. Go get a piece. Now I'm adding some more cute little pictures and you don't have to cut your tape like perfectly around the shape of your photo. Just cut a square. It's clear. You're good to go. You're Gucci. Just slap it on. I put these roses upside down so that when I start chugging out of this thing, they'll be right side up and I'll be like, let me put my roses up, bitch, and then start chugging. You know what I mean? <laughs> One day I sat at my desk and just made a ton of cute little polymer clay cabochons and I'm finally getting to use them. So yeah, I made a ton of hearts, flowers, super easy to make. If you want a tutorial on how to make tiny little cabochons, I could do a whole video on just showing you how to make a bunch of little small things so that you could add them to other projects just in case to make them more personal and really cute and like you, you know what I mean? <laughs> like this weed leaf. Yeah, you need it. Sorry, the sun went down, and I also lost the footage of me blinging out the whole top of the flask, but I got some parts of it for you. And yeah, I'm just using some cute little rhinestones I got at Michael's and just blinging out the whole thing on top. Just so it's like a bougie-ass flask that your five-year-old niece made for you. <laughs> 
I found the cutest cabochons at Dollar Tree. Surprisingly, the butterflies, the flowers, and the hearts. And they look so cute. Just three bucks. And you get all the flavor, or all the different colors, not flavors. Like all the pastel colors. Super cute. And I'm gluing them all down with super glue. The back looks super empty and naked, so I'm adding in some more handmade polymer clay hearts. They're super easy to make if you want to make them. They're just like two little teardrops that you squish together. Adding in some more rhinestones, I'm taking some super glue, drawing a line, and adding these really cute black ones that I found. I think I got them at Joann's. Ah, it's looking so cute! Sweet, we're almost done. The last thing I'm doing is taking these baby pink flat back pearls and adding them around the bottom half of the flask all the way around Lizzie McGuire. <laughs> I'm so happy I added her in. She makes this whole thing look too cute. Like, isn't this your childhood and your adulthood and your teens all in one? <laughs> and I'm like doing it around her body so it's like she's the main piece besides the flowers in the back. Oh, it looks so cute. I love Lizzie. And there you go. It's all done. Hope you guys liked it. It looks so good. Came out so pretty, especially in the sunlight. I can't wait to take this to a festival. Oh my god. Turn my roses up, bitch. Hell yeah. And here's a little demonstration for you. Hey. I hope you guys liked it. It was super easy and fun to make. Please let me know if you do decide to make one and we can match. Also tag me on Instagram at a locotone if you do make it or if you record a video of you making it. Please let me know. Comment down below. Uh, follow me on Instagram at a locotone. Subscribe to my channel, locotone. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Deuces. Peace out.